This is a pretzel. And this is a map of the Tynan Weir Metro. Delicious German baked snack. Light rail system in northeast England. What could these two things possibly have in common? Well, let's find out. If you look at the layout of the metro, more specifically the yellow line, you'll notice it follows a bit of a weird path. For example, a train starting at South Shields comes along the river into Newcastle, passes through Monument Station on the lower platforms, then carries on around the North Tyneside Loop and passes through Monument for a second time on the upper platforms before terminating one stop away at St. James. This unique configuration, where a transit line loops around and passes through the same station twice in a perpendicular direction, is known, for whatever reason, as a pretzel layout. I suppose you could say the lines are intertwined, or something. But the pretzel configuration isn't exclusive to Tynum Weir. There have actually been a number of transit systems around the world that have been pretzel shaped over the years. First up, we come to the interesting situation on the metro in Sofia, Bulgaria, where since 2015, line M2 existed in a pretzel configuration, passing through Sertika station twice, although this is technically two separate but interconnected stations, which are numbered Sertika 1 and Sertika 2. Interestingly enough, since the new line M3 opened in 2020, the official map was changed to split the previous lines up and added line M4 to denote the branch to Sofia Airport which had previously been part of line 1. But while this map might make it look like the Sofia Metro was no longer a pretzel, M2 trains actually still continue past Obelia Station, they just technically become M4 trains in the process. So the same train does pass through Sedetica Station twice, so pretzel. Next, we need to look at two pretzel lines that sadly no longer exist, and both can be found in Canada. First is the strange case of the Toronto subway, where the Toronto Transit Commission undertook an experiment for just six months between February and September 1966, where they interlined routes so that all stations would be served by at least two lines. One such line looped and passed through Bloyong Station twice on the upper and lower platforms. However, the whole experiment was deemed a failure due to the potential for cascading delays and the lack of any apparent improvement in wait times for passengers transferring between lines, so this very short-lived pretzel was unravelled. Over on the other side of Canada, in Vancouver, we find another ex-pretzel on the Skytrain system. In 2009, when Broadway Station on the Expo Line and Commercial Drive Station on the Millennium Line were formally merged into Commercial Broadway, a pretzel was created, with the Millennium Line now passing through the combined station twice at different levels. The same line arrangement had actually existed since 2002, but it was the stations being merged that created the pretzel. In October 2016, however, the route and Millennium Line changed to accommodate an extension to the northeast, and the pretzel configuration ceased to be. But by my reckoning, there's one more pretzel metro to be found, and that means heading over to Jutemir in the Netherlands. At Voorweg station on the Randstad rail system, which links to nearby The Hague, Line 3 loops around and passes through the station twice, first at ground level and then for the second time on elevated platforms, making this the only above-ground pretzel station in the world. And that's it. There are only three examples of this unique transit layout in operation. Interestingly enough, all in Europe. But why were they built this way? Frankly, I don't think this configuration brings any more benefit to riders than, say, interchanges between separate lines, and it's probably as much a result of trying to build a single coherent system out of pre-existing infrastructure as anything else. 
So these transit curiosities are likely to stay just that. Now, if you'll excuse me, all this talk of pretzels has left me more than a little peckish. <laughs>